Good afternoon, everyone. Our last break ever of 2017 Bowman's Best Bays. It's not our last break ever. That's a lie. That's fake news. I'm sure we'll get more Bowman's Best in the future, but I just don't have any more to post tonight. On a Thursday night, the 8th, 8-box pick your team number 22, 2017 Bowman's Best Baseball. There's everyone right there. Eric Wade with my Dodgers. Last spot mojo. There's everyone else. The toner may have to change may have to change that toner soon, folks. Stay tuned. Stay tuned tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to see if Joe changes the toner in the printer. And stay tuned for this break to see what kind of hits we pull out of here. These are series one posters. We'll give these away eventually to somebody. Two, four, six, eight boxes in this break. Four autographs a box. Pretty solid stuff here. There's a reason why we do so many of these breaks. Now, in basketball, the trading deadline was today, so there's a lot of basketball, new basketball transactions happening. And if you want to do a basketball break, that's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. However, this is a baseball break. And, and baseball has been really, really quiet. Extremely quiet. Uh, is this the one where you bought the Cubs? This is Pick Your Team 22, Josh York. If you check your receipts, you can you can figure out which break you were in. I don't have you here on, on here for the Cubs, though. I have landed here for the Cubs. So I guess the big story is... And this was just a couple days ago, too. Mets signed Todd Frazier. That's the big news of the day. That's the big baseball news of the day. I don't know what else is going on. What Has anyone else heard any... Rumblings, any other baseball news, rumblings that are happening? Easy. I'm looking at MLBTradeRumors.com. There's not much going on. And spring, I think pitchers, catchers report like, what, next week? A week and a half? Two weeks? Something like that? Very soon. Very, very soon. You don't, the only one you have is from PayPal? You should have a, a receipt gets emailed to everybody. Uh, you should have an email receipt that'll, that'll tell you what pick your team you have. It's the same email I receive when I go through orders. Spam folder maybe? Here, actually, let me just stop and check really quick. No. Josh York, the Cubs, you got the Cubs in. In the last time you got the Cubs, I see you for National Treasures Baseball Cubs. That was a week ago. I don't see you with any other Cubs order. All right, these will randomize left and right. You bought it an hour ago? Why do I not see? I don't see. Huh. Sorry, folks. Let me check this out. This is actually. See that too. Huh. 
why didn't I receive an email for this? All right, sorry about this. Um, ladies and gentlemen, see, this is a live show. This is what happens in a live show. Okay, Landon, my apologies. The Cubs were already sold to Josh York about an hour ago, but for whatever reason, that order confirmation didn't go through. Okay, so you did look at your account. Okay, it is 20. I can confirm that it's 22 as well. All right, so Landon, I apologize. False alarm. I'm going to refund the Cubs for you right now. kind of weird because I didn't see an order coming in for the Cubs so I just thought I forgot to post the Cubs all right so let me just do this right now before I forget so Landon you are now refunded for your Cubs order that you placed um, whenever you placed it about 20 minutes ago for 10 minutes ago all right and York I already have your order so you are already fine let me change that so is that did that refund complete refund complete let's close that out change the name there All right, so I'm not sure why. Yeah, this, folks, this this is why I encourage everybody. There's Josh York right there. I encourage everybody to uh, check your emails for your re order confirmations. Don't rely on me to say it on, on air. Drew Ellis, because if you didn't receive an email, you know, and if you usually do, if you don't receive an email, then you know that I didn't receive the email because we get the same thing. That's when you should confirm. Drew Ellis, if I got the order or not. Okay, so we got the NL West here. Mitchell, so let's recap really quick. So Mitchell White, Dodgers. Drew Ellis, Diamondbacks. Uh, Eric Wade with my Dodgers gets the Mitchell White. And Drew Ellis for the Diamondbacks, that goes to Ryan Redman. And there's Cody Bellinger. I think Mitchell White, if I look up the Baseball America... Top 100. I think Mitchell White is in there. Yeah, Mitchell White is number 69 on the Baseball America's Top 100. So that's a pretty good. It's a pretty good graph to get. All right. Next up, Jeter Downs for the Reds. That'll go to Nick B. Is Jeter Downs on this list? It's not to say that if they're not on this list that they're no good, but. But it's just just adds to the storyline a little bit. I don't think Jeter Downs is in there. There's Blake Rutherford, gold, three out of fifty. That goes to the White Sox, Ryan Redman with that one. We'll sleeve all of those up before we send those out. And we've got Royce Lewis. Nice. He's your number one overall pick in 2017. The 2017 MLB draft for the Minnesota Twins, of course. That goes to Dave Barros. Nice, Dave. Do they have Royce Lewis on this list? I think they do, actually. Yeah, Royce Lewis, even though he's drafted last year and only played a year of minor league ball, he's already number 24 on Baseball America's Top 100. So there you have it, folks. There's our first box. Nice first box. Next box. Good luck, everyone. Second box. Nice start with that Royce Lewis. 
Twins have a pretty pretty solid farm system. Got a lot of young players in the major leagues already. You know, and then they have guys like Royce Lewis coming up the ranks. Which should be a good thing for them. All the all the Twins need is a little pitching, right? They just need a little starting pitching. I think that's one of the things they don't have uh, coming up the ranks. I thought they had like Trevor May, Tyler May, Trevor May. They should have someone. They have Steven Gonzalez who just cracked the top 100. But no, they don't have any other, don't have a lot of pitchers. That's the, that's the big thing that they need. All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. There's Blake Rutherford for the White Sox again. That is a case hit. Ryan Redman with the monochrome horizontal autograph. Blake Rutherford. 112 out of 125. And another Mitchell White. So there you go. Eric Wade, last spot mojo, starting his Mitchell White PC. There you go. Thanks, Ed Ramos. You are, you are set. There's Reese Hoskins, Baseball America, Dean's List. There's Lourdes Guriel Jr., Yuli's brother. Blue Jays, that goes to Andrew. And we got Eloy Jimenez at a 150 for the White Sox. Ryan Redmond. White Sox also quietly have like a nice young team that they're developing too. They're not that far away either. Nice atomic refractor of Eloy Jimenez. That'll ship too. And we've got Kevin Merrill. Uh, no relation to our, uh, our longtime client Jeremy Merrill, I think. You never know though. Could be, could be bros. Oakland A's. That'll go to Joel. There you go, Joel. Joel with the Oakland Athletics. We got Jose Altuve at a 250 for the Strohs. That goes to Ed Ramos. And nice, Gliber Torres, 17 out of 25. That's a nice hit. Uh, who has the Bronx Bombers in this one? Josh Filo. Nice. Nice shimmery Gliber Torres. Oh, yeah, we were discussing that I, that Isaiah Thomas trade a little bit earlier, Josh. Um, I'll reserve my full thoughts for the next basketball break that we do or next time we're off air but or off recording this baseball break, but I like it. I think it's a, I think it's a great deal. I think Cleveland was probably not the best place for him in the first place, but maybe he didn't have a lot of choice. Um, but um, I think I think it's a good deal. I think I think great for the Lakers. Oh, all right, John. Yeah, our shipping team will take care of that. They'll get back to you on that. Unfortunately, I don't handle that part of the business, John, so unfortunately, letting me know doesn't really help, but uh, but I'll make sure, I'll, 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 they usually check the emails every day, so they'll be able to do that. Well, I'm disappointed too, but nothing I can do right now at the moment, but the shipping team, pretty good about responding, so they'll be able to sort that out for you and kind of figure it out. I'm sure it was just, I'm sure it was just something that was either delayed for whatever reason, maybe it was in a different shipment, but we'll figure it, we'll figure it out. 
But sorry, yeah, sorry, folks. Unfortunately, I'm not I'm not the customer service guy here, so I apologize because when it comes to that, I'm pretty useless in these situations, and I know that's not a satisfactory thing, but but I can assure you that our team is pretty good about about handling all that stuff. All right. You want to assess, but it's to 150, and there is Austin Beck, who I think is a top 10 pick, maybe even a top 5 pick for the Oakland A's. That's a great one for Joel and the Oakland A's. We got Jose Barrios, 60 out of 99 for the Twins. Goes along nicely with that Royce Lewis, Dave Barrios. Barrios with Barrios. And we've got the John Duplantier autograph for Ryan Redmond and the Snakes, Diamondbacks. Folks, if you have uh, any any sort of uh, outstanding shipments or tracking number issues or anything like that, you can always email us at jazbeeshobbyland at gmail.com. That's the place to do it. 43 out of 50, Bryce Harper. Nice one for Joel. Nice Baseball America. Dean's List. A plus. I'll give him an A plus. He's pretty good. Although I was thinking about this last night, I was thinking, do I want when Bryce Harper and Manny Machado are free agents? Do I want Bryce Harper, or do I want Manny Machado? I think Manny Machado actually fits fits better with uh, with the Dodgers. Oh yeah, I was. We were just saying that Todd Frazier signed with the Mets, but it's like a two year. Um, a two-year, uh, seventeen million dollar contract or something like that. Dylan Cousins going to the Phillies, which, if you asked me, about five years ago, what I think Todd Frazier would get on the open market. I I would think he would be getting seventeen million dollars a year, not seventeen million over a couple of years. All right, there's Michael Kopech. And another Jose Barrios out of 250. All right, next one. Right, we saw that yesterday, Swad. Russell Wilson was traded to the uh, to the Yankees. So we'll be looking forward to Russell Wilson playing second base, I think, for the Yankees at some point. Do the Yankees need a second base? I think they could use a second baseman. Rex, what's going on? I oh, was Rex saying we're getting a big snowstorm tonight. He's in Indiana. And uh, 10 to 12 inches. Well, that sounds like a good time to get some hot chocolate going, some hot cocoa going, and some Jaspie's Hobbyland. Right, Rex? That sounds like a perfect night for that. <laughs> yes, Joshua, probably. What color is depends on the color. I, I think it, the color will say it all. There's Evan White, Seattle Mariners. What's up, Michael? I don't. I don't think they were talking about. I don't think they were talking about uh, a hot chocolate in that song. There's Lewis Branson. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely midlife crisis. Then, Josh York. Chance Adams, Yankees, that goes to 
Josh Filo with that one. Well, Josh York, I have to I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed that you made that move, made that decision with the motor vehicle. There's Clark Schmidt at a 250 because that clearly takes away from your braking budget. Not sure if I like that. Clark Schmidt, Philo with the Yankees. Some more Aaron Judge. We'll sleeve those up too. And nice Alex Fajardo. Josh Schmidt. What's going on? We got Josh Philo getting hits. Josh York and Josh Schmidt in the chat. What's going on, Josh's? Joshua's? Alex Fajardo, 53 out of 99 for the Tigres. That'll be for Big Boys 007. And Nate Person. Pearson? Pearson? Like a like a pear that you eat. That goes to the Bluebirds. That's for Andrew and the Blue Jays. All right. Next up here. Oh, well, that's good, Josh York. Well, good. I'm glad I'm glad you are financially planning for Jaspies. That's the key. I, this is what I expect everyone to do. Whenever you're doing any of your future financial planning, ladies and gentlemen, always make sure that you tell your financial manager, uh, hey, make sure X percent is set aside for Jaspies Hobbyland. This is this is a key part um, of my uh, of both of my Jaspies Hobbyland, a key part of both my happiness and my great frustration. Happy when you hit, frustrated when you don't, but can't can't live with it, can't live without it. Jaspi's Hobbyland. <laughs> there you go. No, I like it. I, I hope I hope everyone follows Josh York's example, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's it's important to plan, folks. It's important to plan. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm looking forward to people buying that status basketball too, Josh Schmidt. In fact, we well we have do we have any orders coming in for the Absolute Basketball? I took 10% off the Absolute Basketball. That's our last break of Absolute Basketball. It looks like some people are taking advantage of it. Um, we can break basketball. We have, we'll have an excuse to talk about basketball, which is always nice. A lot, a lot of basketball news happening today. And then once we get that Absolute Basketball break done, I don't know, maybe maybe there'll be other discounts and other basketball breaks. You never know. What's up, Cole? What's going on? You know what, Rex? It's funny you should mention that because we were discussing that very thing yesterday. Rex is saying, speaking of Russell Wilson going to the Yankees, isn't it weird how, how there has, hasn't been another Bo Jackson or Deion Sanders in baseball? Um, we were just talking about that yesterday as well. We decided, I, I think, well, I decided that I think because everyone uh, is so uh, all about being specialized into a particular sport, I think by the time you reach pro level, People just pick one or the other. There's Matt Sauer, Matthew 1926. Is that the one about a lot of rooms in a father's house or something like that? Matt Sig Sauer going to uh, Josh Filo and the Yankees. Cole saying, any more football breaks tonight? Well, there better be. I have to be here for another... I'm here until 11 o'clock Pacific. <laughs> so there better be. Uh... We'll randomize those to those two teams right there. How many more hours do I have to go? Seven? Six? Six hours to go? There better be another football break in the next six hours. Or else I'll, I'll, I'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll all be kind of bored. Lucas Urseg for the Brew Crew. I think Rory has the Brewers in this one. Uh, what? Oh, there he is. Rory, yeah. There you go, Rory. Nice. Uh oh that that's a that's a trendy bible verse isn't it With man this is impossible with god all things are possible I feel like he kind of mailed that one in Ian Happ at a 250 
And we got Brett Phillips for the Brewers. A couple Brewers out of here. Uh, limited, I think, is a is a random team break. I don't think you could have purchased the. Uh, I don't think you could have could have purchased the Rams in a limited random team break. Are you sure it was something else? Maybe Cole. Uh, Brett Phillips, Lewis Ursa, a couple Brewers for Rory. We got Michael Kopech, the Fireballer, out of 150. That's for the Chicago White Sox, Ryan Redman. Um, but Rex, I think, I'm trying to think who got, there's another Kevin Merrill for, jo, uh, for Joel, that is. Um, I think James Winston was a was almost a two-way player. I think he was a closer uh, for Florida State. I'm pretty sure he, he played baseball for Florida State. It was pretty decent too, actually. All right, next one. Uh, I have not been seeing Otani autographs on Twitter, Rex. I think he's he does it both in English and both and, and in Japanese, from what I understand. So I think we'll see both as we start delving into more 2018 products. Oh, Illusions. Okay, nice, Cole. Yeah, we we definitely we cut prices recently on Illusions football. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that. I'll be looking forward to that one. Oh, okay. So Sam Golden with a little extra info. That's one of the main reasons why Russell Wilson transferred to Wisconsin was to play baseball. Interesting. Yeah, I think as a quarterback, um, I think as a quarterback, uh, he... Uh, I think as a quarterback, you're not likely going to see them, you know, play two sports. I think I just like so. Jameis Winston is going to do that. You know what I mean? So, um, Rex saying that would that seems like it would be a pain to sign that many cards in Japanese. Well, for you and me, it would be a pain because we don't write Japanese. For for uh, Otani, that's like us writing our own names. Just as easy. It would be a pain for Otani to actually do it in English if you think about it that way. All right, third to last box. And we've got a nice gold Drew Ellis. Is that right? It's rare that you... I feel like I don't see a lot of basketball and baseball crossover. Pat Connaughton, Blazers guard, was drafted by the Orioles. Hmm. Uh, Ryan Redman, Drew Ellis for you. 31 out of 50. No, Rex, I am, I am illiterate. <laughs> I am an illiterate Korean. Cannot read or... Uh, I can speak it. I can't read or write it. D.L. Hall... I can order food. DL Hall Orioles. That goes to uh, David Harrell, Big Boys 007, and the O's. Uh, I do, Josh York. It's very delicious. And is that a gold Corey Seager? It is. Bottom right hand corner, you see the 44 out of 50. Nice one for the Dodgers. Eric Wade with the Dodgers. So we'll set these Cody Bellingers aside too. Those are technically rookies. And there's Christopher, however you say his last name. Christopher Say 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 Uh well you're gonna get Korean food this weekend. What do I recommend? Well, the easiest thing is obviously just any delicious marinated meat from a cow or a pig. Would be, would be good. Those are those are pretty standard. 
Korean fare. Dansby Swanson, uh, Atlanta Braves, Hayes with that one. Yeah. Can't go wrong with with any with with the barbecue. Enjoy it. Either the short ribs or the uh, or the carne asada y sort of ground meat kind of stuff that they have. All the all the seasoning is pretty delicious for that stuff. Wow. So the Dansby goes to Hayes. The Shane Boz, another one of these, uh, this is you generally one or two per case. Shane Boz for the Pirates. 23 out of 50. That goes to um, Steve Stone with the Buckos. Nice. An entire show in Korean. I think that would increase our Korean audience, our Korean language audience, and, uh, and significantly decrease our English-speaking audience, considering that 98% uh, of, our, of our buying of our audience are English speakers. I think that would be a misplay for me to do that. <laughs> it would not be good business. Uh, well, there's there's plenty of cow on the menu at a Korean barbecue place, Joshua. That's pretty much all. It's some chicken, I guess, and some fish. But but yeah, basically cow or pig. Josh York saying pork is actually a carcinogen. Highest cancer rate of meat eaters? I'll roll the dice on that, though. I'll roll the dice on that. I have, I have yet to get food poisoning via pork. I'm, I'm good. I'm okay, with, I'm, I'm okay with the pork. Eating babe. Babe, pig in the city. I'm not eating babe. Babe can herd sheep. Why would I eat that? Tristan Lutz for Rory. A few autographs for Rory. That's very nice. Nothing, no, nothing for the Angels yet, Rory. Rory has two teams in this one. Save that Aaron Judge too. Should be another autograph. Oh, there it is. It's Lazarito Armenteros. Nice. All right, next one. Roniel Raudis for the Boston Red Sox. That goes to Joel. Nice, Joel. This is a nice break for you. A couple autographs here and there. And nice. PJ Conlin, Atomic Refractor Autograph for the Metropolitans. Karen. Nice, Karen. 23 out of 25, that is strong. Aiden, what's going on? There's Sean Newcomb right here. All right, nice. There's Joel, keep him coming, he says. Yes, sir. All right, last box. Good luck, boys and girls. Good luck, B's and G's. Good luck. Last four autographs. Pick your team 22. Our last break of Bowman's Best Baseball for the time being, but... 
Um, we've got other baseball on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I think Chronicles Baseball is available on Jaspies. We've got plenty of basketball. We've got football. It's even some soccer. So check it out. jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's get some more breaks going. You can also pre-order some stuff on jazbeeshobbyland.com as well. Check that out. And we also have some baseball on 10 buckbreaks.com. 10 buckbreaks.com. All right, good luck everybody. Robinson Cano at a 99. It's a nice parallel for the Mariners. That'll be for Brian. We got Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle, that is pretty strong. Um, I think he's on the base. He's got to be on the baseball. Um, <laughs> I know, right? It's my fault, TJ. TJ's like, where, when and where do we bring religion to this combo? Matt Sauer, he's got a Bible verse. That's where it's that's where it started, and then York took it from there. Bellinger to two fifty, and Tanner Hawk. Ryan Mountcastle is seventy one, number seventy one overall in the uh, Baseball America Top One Hundred. Tanner Hawk for the Red Sox. That goes to Joel. Some more Cody Bellinger. Two more autographs to go, boys and girls. Two more to go. And then we'll see what else we can start working on next. We've got another Chance Adams for the Bronx Bombers. Josh Filo with that one. And a nice Kevin Maiton. Kevin Maiton. For the Atlanta Braves, Hayes. So you got the Dansby Swanson. And still Braves edition of Kevin Maiton, even though he's with the Angels now. Because the Braves made an oopsie. They screwed it up. Someone got banned. It happens. All right. Let's sleeve these two up. We got a couple ran left right randomizer. One left right randomizer due, and then the atomic refractor randomizer. Nice way to close it out. Mount Castle actually should be pretty solid. I think we'll, we'll see him in the majors soon. All right, the atomic refractor version of the uh, mirror image. will be randomized between the two teams. The other ones are just randomized broadly left and right. All right, so let's do left, right first. Reds, Dodgers. Let's roll the dice. Four and a six, 10 times. Left, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. Left side, we'll get them. So all the, all the left side teams will get these cards. And then Reds and Dodgers, Joey Votto, Cody Bellinger. That's actually a pretty decent comparison. I'll take that. Cody Bellinger ends up being three quarters of Joey Votto. I take that any day of the week. Four and a six, ten times. Reds, Dodgers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Goes to my Dodgers, Eric Wade with the Dodger Joe Mojo in the randomizer. There you have it, folks. That was our last case of Bowen's Best Baseball for the time being. Uh, keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is a pretty popular product, so I'm sure we'll eventually try to get uh, some more if we can. So keep checking back. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.